Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos from me. And if you are returning, thanks, I appreciate it. Today I'm doing a mini unboxing. I have two packages here. This one is um, some journals that I ordered from France and this is an order from Jet Pens. Super excited about this one. My order from France is the Projo Planner. Um, it is the Projo Planner um, Empty Blank Books. It's the three month undated. And let me see here, let's open one of these. I don't remember where I found these. I may have found them on a, um, it might've been a Kickstarter, like a few or several years ago. Oh shoot, this got wet. Okay. Let me check that one also got wet darn it I'm gonna have to contact the company it doesn't look like this one did so let's set these two aside that is a bummer but I will have to figure it out and so like I said this is the three month undated planning book um, it's not a it's not a planner that I use like my bullet journal. It is strictly um, a goals planner. So you open it up and it's it's very thin. You saw that here. Uh, Projo plans on the front. The notebook belongs to and it covers three months from this date to this date. It has a uh, two page vision. Sorry, nope, one page. Oh, it's different from the last time. Okay, I have I have purchased this before. So on the left side, you have a goals roadmap. And on the right side, you have projects. Review your goals page and highlight the top one to three goals that you want to focus on. Here's an action plan for each month. So you write your projects here. And then for the next three months, what do you want to accomplish? And then you get right into the months. Um, these are not dated. You can see that you can use them anytime. This is like nice, really white paper too. Let me grab my bullet journal. This is the Leutsch term. It's a super chunky journal because I've been using it all year. You can see that the Projo Planner has really white, crisp pages. That's kind of cool. Space on the left side for projects, to-do lists, and then a small um, dot grid or grid squares on the bottom. So there's three months of this. And it's going to be a section of, let's see, I think it's two or three pages. It's two pages. So first you have a monthly overview. Then you have a larger page with uh, the grid. And then you have a monthly review. So um, this helps you look at the next steps. And then you have another month. So there's the second month. And then the third month. And after that, you get into the weeks. So although it's not dated, it is printed with hours. So that goes from six in the morning to 10 at night, a focus, uh, to-do list. And then on the right side, you have some space for reflection highlights. I really like using this as a goals planner. Let me see. I'm pretty sure that it is to here. Yep. So you do have several pages at the very back that are just grid blank pages, but you have all of your weeks right next to each other. So after we have the weeks, you have the blank pages, and then you have your quarterly reflection. How do you feel, highlights, achievements, etc. I think in the past I've used this planner, this skinny little goals book as a goals notebook. Um, like I said, I don't use it as a bullet journal because I like to use a blank notebook for that, but I use this for projects, for specific things that I want to work on and focus on. And it helps because it's small, um, it's just for three months. It's a smaller size. It's the same size as, it's just a tiny bit smaller than an A5 um, notebook. So it works out really well. I usually carry one around with me. It's the minimalplan.com and they're based in Paris. So a cool little like, hey, here's how to use your goals planner, what to do, you know, they walk you through all of it, which is really cool. That's like a really, that's a nice little like handy thing to have. I did use that the first time I ever used the goals planner with them. So it was nice to have that to walk me through it. 
Next up is, let me get the bubble wrap out of there. Next up is the order that I placed from Jet Pens. And you know what? I'm honestly not even sure how much of this is mine. Once I found the website, I told my husband about it and he got super excited and he got super happy. And we are a family that loves, I'm trying to find where the edge is here. We are a family that loves office supplies, but I've never tried jet pens. First up, let's do the wax. He ordered this really nice, I hope you can see the color of that. It is just this really nice shade of blue for melting the wax. And then you use those little, um, oh, I can't now, I can't even think of what it's called. Where you seal your, like seal an envelope. So he wanted to start like writing notes and writing letters and then using a seal. So he ordered blue wax. So that's kind of funny. And then he also ordered paper for himself. And I think that's, yes. Okay, so here is a notepad that is like specifically a calligraphy notepad. I wonder what the weight of the paper is. So it says it's cotton paper. And then he also got envelopes. Let me set that aside. And then he also got parchment calligraphy paper. So we'll see how far he goes. <laughs> uh, usually when he gets like a hobby or something, then he definitely goes all in. I think the rest of this is mine. So I got a pen hook clip. I saw this, I think I saw this on the Hobonichi website and the Hoban the shipping for the Hobonichi from Japan. It's like super expensive. So I went to Jet Pens and I went to see like what what could I get from them. Check that out. I love it. Where did my pen go? Of course I don't have a pen just because I need one. Okay, I'll use this. Oh, I wonder if that'll fit because of the beadwork. So it doesn't fit super easily. I'm gonna mess up the beadwork. Okay, I think that's how that's supposed to fit. Or maybe even farther down. Maybe like the clip goes like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just thought that this was really cool. Um, I do have a pen loop on this one, and even though it is elastic, let me let me get this out. Okay, well, maybe I'm going to have to take that out. And then I'm going to have to wiggle this around so that I don't, like, totally mess up. Actually, the beadwork will come off. My son made this one. He made this bead, this, he made the beadwork on this pen. So... Just put it back on like that. Put it back on and then let me put this back on my notebook. I just thought this was so cute and I wanted to use it. I suppose, look, that won't even really like slide in. I suppose if you don't, like if you're fine that you have to take a second to actually put it in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what my expectation was. But like I said, I do have the pen loop here. And look, you, I have to like... I can't do it with one hand. I have to, I don't know. I'm not even going to do that. I got this because I wanted to be able to have a pen hooked onto the front of my bullet journal. Looks good. Looks good. And I love that it looks like a huge paper clip. Okay. Let me set that over here. And then I move this pen. I also got a new pen case. This is yellow. It's not nearly as bright as I thought it was going to be. So it has a little magnetic clip here. And then you pop it open. And it sits, like it will sit up like this. It has a mesh pocket at the top. And then like, looks like it can fit a lot of pens. I have my whole, so this is my little, what brand? Delda, I don't know how to say that. This is just like pens and pencils that are on my desk. Definitely, there's way more room. That's cool. And then it closes with a magnet. 
and it doesn't come off. That's good. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I just kind of wanted something that would sit up because I didn't want to be taking this one around with me because I leave this one on my desk and it has all these pens and pencils and my son's pens and pencils are in that one too. So like when he comes and sits with me to do his schoolwork. So that's cool. New pen case. Like I said, I thought it would be brighter. It's kind of showing up greenish colored on my camera, but it's pretty like a muted yellow. So I thought it would be a little bit brighter. That's fine. I also got this very cool pencil sharpener. Oh, I wonder if I have like a regular pencil where I can test this out. I saw this on the website and I knew my son, my youngest would love it. So if I remember right, without having to look at the directions, you, maybe I should look at the directions. <laughs> How do you take this off? So I want it to be like that and then take it off like that. And then you twist it back and forth. So it's like a ratchet. Love it. This one's pretty bad, so it'd probably take a little bit of sharpening. Can you hear the ratchet noise? I just think that's cool. So there you go. New pencil sharpener. We lose these in our house. Like our house eats them. I don't know. We do use regular pencils in addition to mechanical pencils, so that will get used. These are mine. The rest of these things, there's three tabs. I got these because I'm really, like, totally not sure what I want to do next year for my planning. Um, maybe that sounds crazy. I don't know. But I don't know. So I think this one is... Well, these are tabs. Look how tiny they are. They're just like teeny, teeny, tiny tabs. I'm pretty sure this is for the Hobonichi. It has 48 pieces, so it has two sheets of the same color. And then this one is side tabs. Well, you can put them across the top. You can put them anywhere you want. It's just a sticky note. See, there's, that's where the sticky stuff starts, is like halfway down the page. And I bought this, honestly, to go on, like, the side of the page. So I'm imagining next year's bullet journal. And then see how I have these tabs and they're, like, all squished from, like, being in my note in my bag all the time. Let me get to a blank page. I imagined that I would use these in my two-month spreads and have it here have my sticker explosion across the page and have a small calendar, um, maybe like halfway. That's really small. Now that I'm looking at it, that's super tiny. Look how tiny that is. That's only like mm, six of these grid squares, so 30 millimeters. I think that's the measurement. Kind of left a little bit of a sticky residue. I think it will come off. Um, that's what I imagined though. I imagined using it as a tab here in my notebook with a calendar on the side so that I could have the sticker explosion and then I don't need to buy um, small calendars for these pages like I have right now. I can show you September. Let me find it. Oh, let me show you October. This is before the pen. Let's see that tiny calendar. Oh, actually, if I cover that up, look, it will totally fit. I need to remember where I got those. I think I got it from Sunshine Sticker Co. You can kind of see, yeah, that'll fit. So I could have the um, calendar on the tab like that. That would be awesome. I am filling the, filming this a couple days before October, so I haven't filled that in yet. So there you have it. Six, eight colored, is there eight or six? One, two, six different colored tabs. And then the tiny tabs. Um, I did buy a Hobonichi. I bought the small A6 size because I wanted to use it for a journal. Um, just like a regular daily journal. I used to journal all the time and I'm planning on getting back to that. And then this is the first time I bought one of these. I kind of am intrigued by the idea of this. Let me see if I can open it up. I bought a pencil board and all it is is a thicker like yes it can bend but you probably shouldn't piece of plastic and that is because i think i showed you in a different video 
but I purchased a Loich Term B5. I actually purchased this one. Um, this is the grid and this is um, B5 size grid and it's a skinnier notebook. So it's only, a, I think it's 125 pages, 123 pages. And I was debating to going to this size for 2022 for my bullet journal for my just like regular everyday planning if you look at this here's the size difference a5 to b5 i think that's all in the frame you can see it here a5 to b5 and i i don't know i saw a lot of people talking about using um pencil boards in their notebooks and i thought i would give it a try and see like how it worked out We'll see. I mean, it was only a couple dollars, so I was okay. I'm okay to buy it to try it and see, like how I like it. Um, I think this was a fantastic order. I have never purchased from Jet Pens before. Link in the description, but you may already know about it if you are a, a stationery or office supply or Japanese sup office supply person. So this is called the Clam Pen Case. There you go. There's the tag. Um. And this is awesome. I love all of this. My husband's going to be super happy with his calligraphy supplies. And I cannot wait to get the Hobonichi. I will, of course, show you that when it, the time comes. Oh, you know what? I have one more notebook to show you. I did get Astology. I've never got this before. This is another Japanese notebook. I say another because I did order the Hobonichi. I have not opened this yet. I got it yesterday in the mail. But I was waiting to do an unboxing. So this says that there is day, week, month. Let me open this up. Ooh, this paper is like so thin and nice. Super teeny, 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 tiny. I don't even, the camera's not even going to focus on that. There we go. You see the months and the days and then the numbers. Barely. And then it looks like the grid is way smaller. Let me grab my Loich term. I think this grid is four millimeters. I thought I read it somewhere. I don't see it on here anymore. Timeline. Okay, there's, yes, it is four millimeters. So the grid in the Lloyd's term is five. Um, but wow, it looks way smaller. Oh, and the paper is much whiter too. Interesting. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing next year. So I actually um, purchased the Stology because... I don't know if I want to move into it. Um, I have seen a lot of different people online using this and I moved from the Moleskine to the Loich term. Definitely very happy that I did that. Um, and I wanted to just give this a try. Paper feels really nice. I think there's 300, let me grab the little cover again, 368 pages. So it's like a page a day. So I wonder how long this would last me. Hmm. I definitely, if my schedule stays to what it is and I stay in an A5, I'm going to have to use like half of the page per day. So I'll be using two pages for one week. Well, four pages, one, two, three, four. Um, so that will use up paper faster, but that's less than a page a day. So I could, would still have space in this. This just feels really good. Wow, that's very cool. Okay, so there's my Stology and same size. It's still A5 size. Um, Hobonichi's coming in next. I love it. I love those teeny tiny tabs. My son's going to love this thing, like a little ratchet pencil sharpener. Very cool. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will have more videos on stationery and planning and living overseas. The holidays are coming up and we will hopefully be doing a small amount of travel at the very least once the Christmas holidays kick in we will be checking out the local markets. I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later.